Next news is out of California, USA. A driver plowed into pedestrians because he thought they were Muslims, California police chief says. Uh, Isaiah Joel Peoples, an Iraq war veteran, deliberately drove into a group of pedestrians because he thought some of the people were Muslim. He faces eight counts of attempted murder injuring, for injuring eight people. The most seriously injured is a 13-year-old Sunnyvale girl of South Asian descent who is in a coma with severe brain trauma. He was on his way to a Bible class when he drove into the group of men, women, and children. Oh shit! Okay. Um. So any nobody, nobody died, right? Not yet. Uh, four out of the eight people are still in the hospital. This girl, uh, it's not looking good for her. And this is, to me, similar to what we're talking about before. Right. This is not what Christianity teaches. This isn't Christianity. Wait, this is, is not- uh, bigotry. Okay, but is it? Um... Okay, so we always want to be careful. Be- before we go there, is there any fundraiser for the for the girl that it was injured or anything like that that we maybe not that I know of. If there is, let's share that on ASIS Republic, right? Definitely. Um, w- so he thought they were Muslim. They were not Muslim. Um, actually, I think they were, but mm-hmm. the reason why he did it was because they were, he thought they were Muslim. He just looked at them. Um, and by the looks of them, their race, it says in the article, yeah. uh, he he decided that they must be Muslim, so he drove into them to kill them. That's fucked up. That's so fucked up. Um, so, okay. And he's going to stay in prison forever? Uh, right now, he th- there's no bail. He's in jail, uh, and there's no bail to let him you know, release himself by paying it. So uh, it looks like he's going to be in jail for a while as he's facing eight uh, counts of attempted murder. Right. If somebody yeah. dies here, then, of course, obviously, that's going to go up. Right. So, yeah, I mean, what can you say? This is fucking monstrous, right? Um, Absolutely. I hope he gets... I hope he just rots in jail for this. And I hope that, like, uh, let's see if there's anything, if if there is a GoFundMe or anything for the girl, let's see if we could share it on Atheist Republic. Yeah. I don't know. What to, but, I mean, I don't, when, when you say this is not Christianity, I don't know, is it not? Um, aren't you supposed to uh, kill the people that um, worship other gods? Well... The Old Testament says that, and even though Christians nowadays are supposed to be abiding by the Old Testament and the New, um, just about any Christian you speak to, especially those who attend Bible class, will tell you that they follow the New Testament uh, way of doing things. And in the New Testament, Jesus befriended the the wicked tax collectors and the prostitutes. So uh, that's the way Christians are supposed to live their lives. And even though Jesus says that when he came, he did not come to destroy the old words of the prophet, but yet he came to make sure that they were carried out. Uh, Christians still don't follow the Old Testament. They follow the New. They they cherry pick. They decide what they want to go with. They say gay should die. Well, you know, that was Old Testament stuff. So in that count, it's just, you know, it's severe, creepy cherry picking. But um, from what I know of Christians, they don't live by Old Testament standards. Um Chris is saying if there isn't a fundraiser for the little girl, then let's start one. I don't think so, guys. Maybe you have to let the people, the parents or whoever is close to them to decide this. Maybe I don't think if they don't want, if they don't need it, if they don't want it, I think it's, it should be up to them, right? Don't uh, do anything unless you know that they want something like that. Maybe if you're doing it with communication with them, if you're in touch with them, then go ahead and do it. Um, Patrick is saying what happens when you let Jesus take the wheel uh john is saying it's a great time to be a bigot again in trump's america ah come on don't don't blame i mean i don't i really don't like trump but please this guy was african-american um and so being in america and knowing that you know there's been a lot of hatred towards african americans in our history mm-hmm. i just i find it really shocking that he would look at a group of people and see their race and say you know because of their race i'm going to assume that they're muslims and they should die just i think it's sad you know when i lived in iran they tried to 
you know, one thing I noticed is that a lot of people try to just put all the evil into one place, right? Uh, and for a lot of people, that that's Zionism or Israel. For some other people, it's um, I don't know globalism, right? And it, that don't just you, evil is usually much more complicated than that, right? So I feel like a lot of people now are doing that with Trump. Like, yeah, I don't. I, there are many people in Atheist Republic that hate Trump. There are some people that in Atheist Republic that like Trump. I'm not a fan of Trump. I really don't like his policies, especially his endorsement of the war in Yemen. Um, but and also his closeness, him supporting Saudi Arabia. Uh, those are the main reasons why I don't like him. But don't just everything that happens like, oh, this is Trump, this is Trump. It's just it doesn't help your cause if you want to fight everything. It's not don't just tie everything into one source of all evil. It doesn't help your cause at all. Uh, but you have but it's but I'm uh, I'm glad whoever posted this on Atheist Republic. I'm glad they did that. I do think that when we fight Islam, we have to be careful to to we have to point out that Muslims are mistreated. They are mistreated. We fight Islam all the time, but we also want to take a stance against people that mistreat um, Muslims, and we need to bring attention to the fact that 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 it that happens. You know, stuff like this happens, and I'm hoping that it gives our community a pause when if they want their disagreements with a certain group of people to translate into hatred don't let disagreements translate to her to hatred we disagree with Muslims we think it's ridiculous to believe in the things they believe in we disagree with Christians we think it's ridiculous uh, that to believe in the things they believe in Jews Hindus Buddhists but it's this the disagreements we will point out those disagreements and we, and we don't hold back we point them out and we're very aggressive when we when we are talking about bad ideas but disagreements at the end of the day are just disagreements they shouldn't translate into a, to hatred towards an entire group of people and part of part of our solution in fighting back against translating our for people to use our disagreements into a hatred for a group of people is to highlight when they are also when they're being wronged right we're an atheist group and every time muslims are attacked we post about it every time christians are attacked we post about it every time hindus buddhists are attacked we post about it we talk about it because we want to condemn it because we want to sh we want to talk about bad ideas we want to fight bad ideas and at the same time we want to condemn anybody that thinks that's an excuse to hate a group of people the the, the one another thing that we do is that we want to a lot of people are saying, like, when they see some comments on Aces Republic, every time something like this happens, there's some guy there that maybe thinks this was a good thing. There are some people that think that support a terrorist attack against Muslims and stuff like that. We have, we've seen a lot of those comments within Aces Republic community. And a lot of people are saying, why don't we, why don't you remove them? But bec because we have seen people, some people change. People change. Even if, even if one person out of a hundred person change, like if, if these people get off of Atheist Republic and go somewhere else, you haven't won anything. What have you won by, by getting them off of Atheist Republic? When people come to you because they think if people have, are starting to hate Muslims because they hate Islam and they see that you, you seem to be a source uh, that is speaking against Islam and they come to you and they, they like your content because you're hating on Islam. But then all of a sudden, they like your first video that says this this is why Islam is wrong. And then second video, third video. But then all of a sudden, they see, yeah, you're defending Muslims. Maybe nine times out of ten, they're like, well, fuck this. This is not my community. And they leave. But then there might be that one person like, huh, I didn't think it's possible to hate on Islam and not hate Muslims. This is interesting. Let me stick around. Let me see if there's something here that I missed. Right? And people change. I mean, if we we have had ISIS members that are now atheists, right? And if we could get that level of change, what, if we get, if you're not giving up on ISIS members, then why would you give up on people that are maybe white supremacists or something like that? They pe anybody could change. You can't give up on people and banning them and you know kicking them off of a platform is not really going to make any difference. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. 
But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.